Hello everyone, this is Alex from 3D Printer How To. Today I'm going to show you some configuration settings for Slicer on the Mega Gear M2. Once you've opened up Repetier Host, you can go to the Slicer tab over here on the right. Make sure that Slicer is set to active, and then you can click the configuration button. After you click configure, the Slicer window will appear. Let's make it bigger. The first section is layers and perimeters. We found the ideal layer height to be 0.2 millimeters, but we have successfully printed from 0.1 to 0.3 millimeters. We like our first layer height to be 80% of the other layers. We like three perimeter layers. These are the outside parts of the layer before it starts to raster. We like it to randomize starting points. This is exactly what it sounds like. It prevents it from having globs from starting the same spot over and over again. For horizontal shells, this is how many solid layers will be on the top and bottom of your part. We th find three to be ideal. Next is infill. For fill density, we have it set to 0.4. This is the same as 40%, so 1 would be a solid infill. We find the rectilinear infill pattern to work best, but you can switch it around and experiment with the others if you'd like. We have infill to every single layer, and we have solid infill set to 0. If you want a solid part, switch this to 1. Next is speed. In this section, I would suggest copying the numbers we have, or you can experiment around. We find these to give the best results and best quality prints. After speed is skirt and brim. We have skirt set to just one loop layer, six millimeters away from the object. This is just a single layer that it puts down at the very beginning before it starts printing your object to make sure that the extruder is extruding properly without any jams before it gets to your actual part. The brim we have set to zero millimeters right now. If you're printing a thin part that you're worried about peeling up, you could add a brim to it. This is just a few layers that go outside of your part that attach to your part to help it stay to the build sheet without peeling. Next is support material. We have all of this turned off right now because we don't have a need to support our parts. If you need to support your parts, come up here and check this box and adjust that overhang threshold proper appropriately. Raft layers are solid layers that are placed below your part to help prevent your part from peeling up. We prefer to use a brim instead of a raft. We don't have, we have not changed anything in these other sections. So you, if you've got all your settings changed, you can come up here and click the save button. We find these settings to work fine for PLA and ABS. Next up is the filament settings section. For filament, it asks you for the diameter of your filament. We use 1.75 millimeter diameter filament, however, it's very rarely exactly 1.75. We use calipers to measure it and put it in the exact amount. The extrusion multiplier should stay at 1, and these are our temperatures. We're currently in the ABS settings, so our first layer and all other layers should be 230 degrees on the extruder and 100 degrees on the bed. These are both in Celsius. We have cooling turned off because we have no need for cooling during ABS. If we switch to PLA, We'll see that our filament temperature is 195 and our bed temperature is zero. For cooling, we have it set to auto cooling and we have the fan speeds adjusted accordingly so that on small layers the fan will come on to make sure the part has time to cool before it goes to the next layer. In the printer settings, you'll need to change the bed size to correspond to the Maker Gear M2's bed. This would be 200 millimeters in the X and 250 millimeters in the Y. The bed center is just both values divided by two. For Z offset, we find negative 0.1 millimeters to work best. If you're configuring your Z offset the way we do in our video, then you should use this value as well to get the best first layer. Next is custom G code. All we've changed is the start G code. We have it set so the bed does not time out and fall down after a certain amount of time. It will stay up, except for when given a command to move. And then we have it set so the extruder moves forward and around the binder clips, then extrudes some plastic before beginning the print to make sure everything is working fine. The last section is the extruder section. We've set the nozzle diameter to 0.35 millimeters, which corresponds to the nozzle on the Mecha Gear M2. We've also changed some of the retraction settings. This prevents your extruder from leaving strings as it goes across large gaps. All of these settings in the printer section, printer settings section correspond for PLA and ABS. So if you've made your changes, be sure to save it and then you can close this window out. From here, you can now go and load in a part. We're going to load in the tool holder. 
You open it up and it looks good on the placement. So now let's go to Slicer and we'll hit Slice with Slicer. Make sure that you select the settings that you just saved over here and not something else. Once your part finishes slicing, it'll take you to the G-Code editor screen and you can see the sliced version here in the preview window. Let's hide the travel so we can see it better. Down here you can switch to show single layer and then you can step through the layers one at a time. If you look at the preview window, it's showing each layer and where the filament will be placed as we step through the entire part all the way to the last layer. This now concludes our tutorial on Slicer for the Mega Gear M2. If you have any questions, leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching.